Welcome to Let's Board Game. My name is Daniel and today I have the last present of the game Alexander's Campaign from Alcyon Creative. The game is for two to three players and plays in about 45 to 60 minutes. What will you do in this game? You will play as a general under the lead of Alexander and you will lead his troops in the campaign through Persia and Asia until Alexandria in the north of India. Uh, in this way, the generals try to get the, the most points and to conquer the right cities to get the most points. The leader with the most points at the end of the game wins the match. In the first part of this video I will um, take a look at the components. After that I will explain the rules and at the last I will play a couple of sample rounds. But now we will take a look at the components. The components of the game. On the board we will see the complete campaign of Alexander and our way through Asia and South Europe and Africa. We have objective cards. In the prototype variants there are only three. In the final version there will be more. Then we have provincial cards. These are events that get triggered when we reach new areas of the game. And then we have exploration tokens. Exploration tokens get... Um, you can earn exploration tokens when you play tactic cards. I will explain this at the gameplay part of this video. And then we have three character boards with uh, general and uh, in the final version there will be um, the special ability of this character. Then we have tactic cards. And uh, on every tactic card there is a little letter. This explains to which general this tactical cards belong. So five cards for Antigonos, five cards for Petolome. Then we have uh, markers for buildings that the players can build. We have temples, strongholds and settlements. These are only prototype materials. In the final version there will be cool tokens. And last but not least we have a die. This uh, die will be used to get the outcome of the battles. Now we this that were every component in the game. In the next step, we will take a closer look at the tactic cards. So, tactic cards of the players. In this part, I will take the five cards of Antigonus, and there is first the A in the upper left corner. Then we have the troop type, in this case, it's cavalry, archers, and phalanx. And at the bottom, there are the additional abilities of this card. In this case the cavalry um, you will get gold. With this cavalry you get stone or wood. Wood, stone and iron. Additionally there are additional symbols like this. This is the exploration token. If you use a card for this you get the exploration tiles. Then we have the victory points. If you have your troops ready at the end of the game, these are bonus victory points you will get. At least we have the symbol of truth. This is the only ability that you can use in an other player's turn. You can discard this card when you have it ready to cancel the turn of the enemy player. I will explain it this now in the gameplay part of the video and after that we get to the sample rounds. Game setup. First, every player choose one general. In this case, I will use Antigonus, and the red player will be play Patelomei. The not used general gets out of the game. Now, every player gets his components, his temple tokens, stronghold tokens, and settlement tokens. Every player places these markers on these spots. And the special ability token gets on the two, 
so everyone has two charges of his special ability for the complete game. Every player gets his five tactic cards. This gets been placed flipped up, so everyone knows which troops you have in your rooster. Then every player gets one objective card. These are public information, so you know which towns your enemy has to conquer to get an early victory. How to get um, to get um, a clue. to claim victory? I will explain later. The event deck gets shuffled, and the exploration token deck gets shuffled too. Alexander can uh, gets on the Amphipolis, and the taxation marker gets been ready. So. Now is everything ready to play, so now we will get to the gameplay part. Gameplay. During a player's turn, the player has to choose between four different actions. There is the assault action. With the assault action you can conquer new cities. Then there is the pass action. So you pass and the next player's turn starts. Then there is taxation. You can use taxes to recover your used tactic cards and you have exploration. With exploration you will get to new cities and get this exploration cards. Now we will take a look at the action Assault. The Assault action. The Assault action is the conquering of new cities. So if you use the Assault action you attack the next city. So this is, is Granitius, so we have to roll a die. On a 1 or 2 you are not successful, at a 3 to 6 you are successful and you can move the Alexander token one space forward. Now the player who conquers this city gets the points from this town. In this case Antigonus conquered Granisius and he gets two points. This was a normal assault. It is possible to use the tactic cards instead. So, there are three tro troop types. There is cavalry, archers and the phalanx. The speci speciality of um, cavalry is you have two assault actions um, in one turn and you can combine them with the archers or the phalanx. So, if you use the cavalry, you can say, okay, good, I go to Sacridus, or Sardis with a three. I conquer Sardis, get three points. I had to use the cavalry and I have to move this marker one space to the right. After that, I can uh, choose, I will make a normal assault action or I can combine it with the archer or the phalanx. The archer has a speciality, you can skip the next town, so you can attack Halitzeranius. So a 6, you, you jump there and you get 3 additional points. The phalanx is a, a little bit different. If you use this troop type, you can conquer the next town without a die roll. Important, if you use a cavalry token, and a troop token, you have to um, flip them both. And the marker gets to the right. Why does this marker move? When this marker reach the last step on this row, they cannot be used anymore. So you only can use the cards for the bottom action, not for the top action anymore. Additionally, when you don't use your troops, you get minus points at the end of the game. So, if you used every phalanx and every cavalry instead of in, in, in this case of Ptolemy, you and you miss to use one archer, you lose six point or twelve. Um, this is different at any spot, and every player has different specialities. So, Antigonus loses four points if he used one archer and uh, at Ptolemy loses, loses 6. 
So this is a little bit different. When you conquer a town with an assault action, you have an additional action that called the Great Mason or the Great Builder. With this action you can use a construction action. So in this case we conquered the color Holy Carnassus with the archers and the cavalry. So now we can build oh wait, I will use this. Now you can say okay, I want to use a great mason action, so you can build a building in this town. You can choose between three different types. There is the settlement, the stronghold, and the temple. When you use this, and just play uh, an explanation, I will use I will build a settlement in Hikolokaranus, place it on the board, I have to use this two resources, so this phalanx and this cavalry for the stone. And now I get a multiplication of times two. If I build a stronghold I get times three and when I build a temple it gets times four. So in this case three times two makes six points. So three additional points. This was the assault action with the tactic cards and now we will come to pass and taxation. As in core, uh, short addition to the last point, if a player conquers a town noted on his objective card, he also moves his victory track one space forward. If a player reaches six, he wins the game. I will explain this in the next step of the video when I came to end of targets of the game. So, pass and taxation are simple. To pass is you will skip this round to the next player. So, in this case, Petrone decides to pass. So, it's Antigonus' turn. He is not allowed to pass after a player passes it. So, the last action you can use is taxation if you don't want to get forward on the track. He has to use taxation. What is taxation? Taxation is the collecting of taxes to create new troops or new cards in this case. So when you use the taxation you take the taxation marker and place it on the town where you are and now in this case Gordium 2 you can recover cards like, um, with the number of this. So Gordium 2 you can recover two cards. If you are in Gaza, you can recover one card, and so on. After you use taxation, the next player is uh, next player's turn starts. He can pass again, and now Antigonus had to get forward with an assault or an exploration action. And now I will explain the exploration. The exploration is similar to the assault, but if you use a card for its exploration um, part, you don't have to use your troops. And you get to the next town without a die roll, you get the points. And as an addition you get an exploration tile. You get this covered from the other players because this is the only uh, secret information in the game. Everything different is open information. So these are the four actions of the game. The last thing I have to explain is if a player starts around in a new area of the game, so in this case it's the yellow part, you have to flip an event card and then this is the effect that lasts so long if you are in this area of the game. So if you get to Gorgamela you flip the next card and this is the new effect of the game. So this was the gameplay. Now we'll get to the goal and the end of the game and after that we will get to the sample rounds. Goal and end of the game. There are two different ways to end the game. The first way is to conquer six towns from your objective card. So in this case if Ptolemy 
conquers Gedrosia and he gets his sixth town, he will win the game automatically. The second way to end the game is to get the second time to Babylon. When the game ends and the last player moves his the maple to the four uh, to Babylon, he gets four points and the game ends. Now every player um, counts his victory points. First he looks at his uh, tactic cards and if a card is active with a victory point counter on it, you get this victory points. One, two, three, four. After that you look at your exploration tiles. In this case two victory points. After that you can look at your troops. If there is any troop still not on the most right place, you get the minus point right uh, written down on this card. So in this case, minus six victory points. If a player has his marker still on the first spot, he loses the game and has no possibility to win the game. There are two additional requirements you have to fulfill to claim victory. First, the player to want, uh, who wants to play, claim the victory has to place at least one settlement, one stronghold and one temple. As an addition, if a player has not two exploration tiles in his stock at the end of the game, he also cannot claim the victory. After everyone counts his victory points and we have looked at the final scoring, there is a last point uh, modifier. The player with the most conquered cities from his objective card gets 10 additional points. If two players are tied, everyone gets 5 points and if three players are tied in the city count, nobody gets extra points. So, these were the rules and now we will get to the simple rounds. So, I have reset everything and now we can start with the sample rounds. Ptolemy will start this game. He sees, okay, his first target is Gordium. This is the fifth place on the track. But Ephesus is three spaces away. So if he assault Gronisius, Antigonus has the possibility to attack Ephesus in the first round. So, Ptolemy decides to pass in this case. Now Antigonus has this round. He is not able to pass and in Amphipolis you cannot get taxes. So he has to assault Gronisius or he can use exploration action. In this case Antigonus will try to get the exploration and gets to Gronisius and he gets one exploration card. In this case you have one victory point at the end of the game or one wood. And additionally he gets two victory points. Now Ptolemy's turn begins. In this case he starts his round in the new province. He will flip a new um, event card. In this case it means there is no possibility in this province to build temples. So the only buildings you can build is stronghold or a settlement. So Ptolemy has to decide. He will try to get to Ephesus so Antigonus cannot get Ephesus. So he will use his archers to attack Ephesus. An assault action has been enabled so I get a 6 is a success and he conquered Ephesus and gets two victory points. As an addition he has to move his marker to the archer. So Antigonus turn. He will try to attack Gordium to prevent Ptolemy to get his first city. He will use the cavalry and gets two movements. First he gets to Holy Coronassus with a 1. Now he can decide. He can use his special ability. Antigonus special ability is uh, the possibility to ignore a dice roll in the game two times. So he will use the special ability to conquer 
polycarnosis. Now, get a look, okay, it is possible to get to Gordium with a die roll, but in addition he used the phalanx to conquer Gordium immediately without any pro uh, problems on the dice roll, die roll. He will get 5 victory points. And now he will use the rebuilder or the mason action because he successfully conquered uh, two towns. He decided to build a settlement with wood and stone. So this town counts two times, so you get three additional points. Now Ptolemy's turn starts. He has to go to Siva, his next city. So he will try to. He will use a normal sword action, or no, he will explore, gets two victory points, and exploration card. Wood and three victory points, that's not bad. So now it's Antigonus' turn. He has to move the cavalry and the phalanx one step. So he will now get a taxation so he can recover two cards and he will use the archer and the cavalry. Ptolemy's turn. He will try to conquer Issus and no, he gets a two, so it's not possible to conquer this town. Antigonus' turn. He will try the same. Successful. Three points for Antigonus. So, now Ptolemy will say he will make taxation. Oh, he gets three victory points. And recovers two cards. Antigonus' turn. He will. He will try to conquer Sidon. No, we don't. He's not very lucky this time. So, Ptolemy try the same. With a 6, he will successfully attack Sidon, gets 3 victory points. But now they left this province in this place. He can build a temple. So he will use 1 gold, 1 stone and 1 wood to build a temple in Sidon. So 3 times 4 makes 12 points. 1, 2, uh, 19. Now Antigonus starts his turn in the new province. The next card gets been flipped and in this case in this province there can not be used arches. But he will decide he will make taxation to recover all his cards. Ptolemy is turn. He has to conquer Siva. That is not possible this turn, so he will try a normal invasion on Tyre. No, not successfully. Antigonus had to go to Petra. He will try to conquer the next town. Not successfully. Ptolemy tries. Oh no, Antigonus, the 6, he gets there, gets 2 victory points. So, Ptolemy tries to... Yes, he will try to conquer the next town, but no, he will make a taxation to get cavalry and archers back. Antigonus tries to... Don't can use arches. He tries to use this cavalry to get these two towns. Ah, okay. Not very lucky. So Ptolemy's turn starts. He tries to conquer the next town. Not successfully. Antigonus tries the same. Yes, he tries one victory point. And the next turn is 
Ptolemy, he tries to use... No, oh, we cannot use archers. He tries to get it with the cavalry. Victory, four points. And the second move, a three. So he conquers Siva and gets his first point for his objective. Antigonus left last turn in this Semper rounds. He will try to conquer Memphis and he will use uh, he tries it with he uses Phalanx to conquer it immediately and then he will build for one gold, one stone and one wood a temple in Memphis and he gets Four times four, so these are 16 points. 25, 35. So, this were the Semper Rounds. I hope you get a good feeling of the game. So, that was the complete let's present of the game, Alexander's Campaign from Alcyon Creative. I hope you enjoyed the video and you get a good feeling of the game. Uh, if you like to support the game, just follow the link in the upper corner and there is a link to the Kickstarter page. And if you like to see more of the game, a link to a German Let's Play. It's very language ne not neutral because of the fact you'll know the rules and then you can follow the story. So, I wish many many fun with the game if you get it and see you next time. Bye!